So I spent this series realizing that we are in a bit of a bind. Ernest Becker's The Denial of Death has convinced me that we transfer the universe into something smaller and more manageable so that we can experience success over the universe. The problem is, when I'm faced with a situation that demands a response, what I think is a moral motivation may just be a desire to play the hero in my own self-defined narrative. So I have some questions about how this might play out. Will an urge towards a personally compelling heroism keep a husband faithful to his wife over the years and vice versa? Will it keep a 20-something lawyer from stepping on his peers on the way up? Will it encourage a time-poor student to research effective charities? Or will she be happy enough in her self-defined heroism to throw money at an NGO that advertises well, while in effect making matters worse on the ground? Although Becker says that religion might not be a live option for people anymore, he does say non-specifically that belief in God is one of the best forms of transference possible because it orients us around something that is higher and purer than our false and neurotic narratives. And it doesn't leave us alone and confused in the world. But in most religions, there's no guarantee of our own immortality. And so we're left to work towards what inevitably becomes our own definition and standard of success, which leaves us in the same sorry hole we started in. The only religion that really fights against our self-glorification and heroism is Christianity. Becker mentions the Adam and Eve story, but I disagree with him on the exact interpretation of it. Instead of saying that Adam and Eve ate the fruit and became self-conscious, I would say they became conscious of the self in context of its declaration of independence from God and its taking to itself of heroism and glory. And in the context of that rebellion, God is more terrifying than the universe because he created it. It's this rebellious heroism inviting God's judgment and cutting our own roots off that the biblical narrative revolves around until the gospel. The gospel is a way of rooting our identity in God again without invoking the judgment we deserve for our damaging, heroic attempts at complete self-definition. There is a transference here, but it's legal as well as psychological. Our old status is transferred to Jesus and his to us. The effect of this transference is that we don't have to prove ourselves to be part of God's ongoing life. We're granted this status on condition that we let go of our attempts to define ourselves without reference to God.